All right, guys. One more live. Sorry, I'm trying to look at my percentage of my phone. Sorry for all the mess, but this is what I'm doing. Originally, this was like a brown color like my wall back there. So I'm trying to revive my um, colors. I did my table the same skin colors that I'm doing here. So I wanted to show you what I'm doing first. Excuse the mess up there because that's kind of hard for me to get. But you will need a paintbrush, paint, two colors if that's what you want to do. And not one color and you'll need a spray bottle. Okay. So I basically went ahead here and I did the white, which it kind of looks a little bit. Sorry, it's my bottle. Okay, guys, this is what I use for my paints. I've used these since I started, I want to say this channel or a little bit before. But anyways, okay. So I, if you know me, I use these disposable uh, plates a lot. Okay, so this is what is going on so far, right? So originally I would do the white first right just to cover most of that which i was on the ground so that kind of didn't help very well so we're gonna work with this we're gonna work with it okay so when you feel that your um your brush is getting a little sticky or it's not going where you want it to go right you just spray either the paint where you're doing it or spray this mm -hmm. okay and i'm going to move to the other side so you guys can kind of see what i'm talking about i am using two colors like i said i'm using this blue and white okay and for the this blue i have this plate so if you could see the drips right here, right? Probably can't see them, but they're there. So I will actually spray it, or I would go back in there and just kind of take out your color paint that you have there and just kind of go down a little bit, okay? And nobody will know that you just did that. I could always sand it out at the end, which I will do that as well. But just try not to get no um, drips, right? Mm. So let's see. I was on the floor, so this kind of looks a little weird. But anyways, I have plates down there on the bottom. That way it doesn't uh, drip on the floor or I don't want it to drip like in where the, the other stuff is in there so i'm not going to get to the side because i just don't want to um work with that right now but i think the sides i'm going to just do white that way this could be a little bit just the color that i really really want okay so i'm going to do a little bit more of the white only because oh my goodness i just I didn't do very good in that. Okay. It might be a little bubbly on some areas. It was just like that already. So don't think that I did that. Okay. Mm. My shoulders are hurting. So it is what it is. I'm going to bring this one table that I painted. I might show you this at the end. And I do have another video for this one. But I have one of these. I wish I would have bought two. Oh, that one. It's okay. All right. So this is my table where I'm going to put all my stuff that I need. Like my paints, right? my bowls, my brushes, and these right here. All right. Whoa. And I have a sand block that I might use later. All right. I don't want to spray this too much because I don't want stuff to go in there where the shoes are at. 
because I'm not going to go in and try to take out the, the shoes. I'm not going to do that. Okay. So you could either let it dry, right, a little bit, or you could go in there and start working the other color, which I think that's what I'm going to do. Now, mm -hmm. this one right here, because I went down on this, I have to kind of blend it a little bit more. And, um, yeah. Kind of try not to let those paint streaks show. And it's going to look a lot more natural in there. If you know what I'm talking about. Or... Okay. So, always have a spray bottle in your stash. I was supposed to go out somewhere with somebody today, but I didn't get the call unless I didn't see it, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. All right, that's why I was like, I'm just, I need to get this done. And when the kids get home from school, then we'll start tackling the other stuff. Okay, so you see what that's doing? It's kind of like a dry brush technique. And so it's looking like that, okay? And you're not trying to put too much paint on the brush and because it's kind of still wet, the other paint, it's kind of going to still get that effect, but at the end, it'll blend a little bit better, okay? So that's what we're trying to do. So in some areas, it's gonna look darker, but I promise you, it'll, it'll get better. And I am using my right, my left hand, but I'm not a left hand already. But it's just, I'm trying to give this hand a little bit of, yeah, I'm trying to rest it. Another way you could have, you could do it is this way. But for me, I think this will just be okay. It will be fine. So it, just, it depends. It depends what you guys want to do. Okay. Try to take those little extra things that are in there. Okay, like right here is feeling like a little dried up. Oh my gosh, I am hating my couch. Don't want to do that. Okay, I'm gonna have to take this off later. Okay, hopefully it could come out, you guys. Because I don't want the couch to be that color. Okay, before it dries up too much, okay, because you don't want it to go under, right? Because you don't want it to go under there unless, of course, your all your um, shoes are out. And I would still not recommend to let it go under. I would put something on the bottom because then your inside is going to be painted and then you're going to have to paint the whole thing. So I wouldn't recommend to do that, okay? That's just my, my train of thought. Okay, but you could do it if you want. Nobody's going to be looking in there, right? Unless they're very nosy. And then you decide what you want to do. But other than that, nope. Um, you could put a big old thing of something to cover the inside, which I might do. So let me see if I find something really quick here to just kind of show you guys. Um, okay, our dog is pretty much potty trained. The only thing, um, the only thing is we just got to take him out. He will tell us if, so these are the kitty pads that people say. I'm going to go in here, right? The bottom one. I really don't want to get these. Um, I don't want to get anything on it. And of course these shoes are probably already we're not getting our kids, but just in case, right? You want to be safe and sorry. And yeah, I think this is a perfect idea to do. Okay, there you go. Now you could go ahead and spray away and it'll give you a different effect, right? There you go, see? Now it's 
blending a little bit better. It's getting that effect of like, psh, you know? So spray it more up there, right? And voila, it gives you a different look uh, than just the spray, which I'm gonna get these down on the bottom so I could do the same thing here. So it could be the same look, right? Hopefully I have like at least one more. Yeah, I do have two more, so. I mean, you could get these, I think these I got at um, Costco a long, long time ago, and I just never used them, but so I'm gonna really, really use them right now because I want to get this natural, you know, thing that is just going down and it's kind of blending. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's kind of like blending. Okay. You see that? It's there. So up here, of course, it's kind of taking off the paint, but I'm going to add a little bit more into it. And then I, I will use the strokes of a paintbrush to kind of um, help it out like right here, right? But look at that. I mean, that looks a lot better than what we had earlier. And then just go up and down and kind of work with it, right? And voila. And then on the bottom, just make sure you kind of like work with it again uh, at the end. And we have a different kind of look. I like it. Like it a lot. So what I'm gonna do instead of putting these um, plates on the bottom, I'm gonna put the pivot pads, and then I'll trade them off up here when I start doing that one, which I might not have time, only because. Um, and if I do a kitty corner, you guys, I love to do two. There you go, kitty corner, like diamond way, which I should have done that. Let me check and see what time it is. Oh, I can't see, dang it. Hold on, you guys. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to go pretty soon. And my son has um, ukulele classes today, so I gotta take her his uh, ukulele. So that totally gives it a different effect right there. Okay, like the drippy kind of look. And I've done that with my, my paint, my, um, what do you call them? That's looking pretty good, you guys. I mean, I am so thinking. And I've done this before. I was just kind of like, didn't know how to implement this in here because of the fact that I didn't want this mess here. But it's looking really good. It's looking like a drip, but not really. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but, but yeah, that's the look that I'm going for. And I know a lot of people like, they're like, oh, that's, that's not going to work. Or it's not going to look good, right? But there you go. It's, it's looking pretty good to me. And then you kind of spray it where it's kind of psh, doing the its thing. Now right here, it kind of took off. You can see that the other color, so I don't want that, right? I don't want that at all. Like I said, I'm gonna have to go pretty soon. But, so don't spray it too harsh, because then you're gonna take off most of the paint and then you're not gonna have that, mm -hmm. um, like see right here, it looks like patchy. I don't want that to look like that, right? I don't want it like that. I want like a more natural look. Just like that kind of look. Okay, so again, if I want more up here, right? More so it doesn't like take away from there. But it's dripping down, see? So it's kind of like it evens it out. Like that one, I don't want to keep it just there, but. 
hopefully you get what I'm trying to do. And you could do this on a desk and or any of the furniture and kind of um, move it around, tilt it over. But for me, and you're going to have to let it like just drip all the way down, right? Mm -hmm. And so now I'm going to go to this one and I'm going to open it up. I hope I didn't mess this up. Dripping pretty good. Oh my gosh. Gotta fix this really quick. Okay. Alright, let's do it this way. Don't stay. Okay. Now I gotta clean this because it's getting messy over here when it's spraying. Now I know why my my stuff in my stockpile is like all over the place. It's a live and learn thing. All right, I'm gonna have to finish this pretty, pretty quick. Pretty quick, guys. It's getting in some of these things, so I gotta really make it fast. Okay, let's see. Okay. Um, realistically, you don't have to like really get all that. You're trying to get most of. That in there when you do that. So right now I'm just gonna do the whole white. Where's my white? Over here. Mm. And I'm basically gonna go work like this because it's easier for me to just grab it. But see how there's color in here? It's gonna blend in there. It's okay for now, right? Um, because eventually I'm gonna blend it. But that was in my purpose at first, right? So it's alright. I just want it kind of white, but it's all right. We'll work with this. Mm. Hopefully nobody's calling me or anything, because I have not heard anybody call me. And it'll be too late if she wants to get together, because my kids are going to be getting up pretty soon. So make sure you get the edges in there. And if you don't right now, just get them at the end when you're finishing up, right? Because just don't get this side because that's a different color and you want to leave it down. Now, if it was uh, gold, I would definitely take it out, but it's not gold. So if you guys know me, I don't like gold. I just don't, you guys. I don't know why. It just makes me feel like it's old. And every time I get a nice picture frame, it has gold. And I'm like, oh my gosh, and I have to paint over it. And it's just ridiculous. Mm. But, yeah, so I'm not trying to get it perfect, but I'm trying to get the, the top really, really quick because I'm going to quickly push it up but I want to make sure everything up here is always taken care of. So that way when I push it up, it'll be, I could still do this bottom part if that makes sense. Because my shoulders just hurt. And I'm going to tell you one thing. The reason why I do do st stuff like this, because I want to, I want to make my home look better. But at the same time, I can't spend too much money. And this is a total way to make over your home without breaking the budget. Because these colors right here that I've gotten, I've gotten them like really cheap, right? And um, it's just, it's helped a lot when I get them at um, Home Depot. There's a mess down there I gotta clean up. Um, and so it's it's helped me. Okay, I made it. I'm going to have to put this one in here because I feel like I'm not going to get a lot of coverage. It's going to get all messed up in here, so let's do this before it gets all yucky. I'm pretty sure if I would have prepared better, this would have looked a lot better, but it is what it is, and I am liking it. I'm not, not liking it. 
And again, it's gonna match uh, what I have, because this is my, my, I don't know what they call it, the dirt room. <laughs> I guess they call it the dirt room. So my door is like right there. So I'm okay with that. Um, you know what I'm saying? So I'll fix this here if I need to a little bit more, mm. but I'm just trying to concentrate on this for now, and I'm gonna have to clean the bottom because I already made a mess. Like I have paint all over. But excuse me, at the end of the day, I'm gonna do this side and that side just white. Or I don't know, maybe I'll do the same color, but I just don't want the trim to be the same uh, texture. If you guys understand what I'm saying. If not, we'll work with it. And I will take pictures. Um, and put them on Instagram. So if you're not um, following me on Instagram, I don't know if we have a Twitter account. I'll have to see if my daughter has done that for us. Um, then follow us there. Okay, so basically that's the white, right? Now I'm going to work with the blue. And it has a little bit of blue in there, but I just want to kind of make it a little bit more um, noticeable, right? And then I'm going to go in there and I'm going to spray it so you guys can see that effect. And I'm going to try to go more on top just so it could drip down, right? I think this is going to just like be perfect. Okay, I don't want to put any... Okay, let's see how this works, guys, okay? Because and I'm going to put a little bit of blue in here only because I think I put a lot of, a lot of the white. And it's looking, it's looking really, really good. It's looking sharp, so check it out. It looks splotchy or splotchy, right? You just let it drip. Oh, my gosh, I feel like it's going to drip over here. If it drips on the next one, it's okay, you guys. I just don't want it to drip inside my shoes. Right? I don't want it to drip inside my shoes. So, be as aggressive as you want or less aggressive. But I think for me, I have to do the spray... I mean, not the spray, the brush a little bit more to uh, blend the color, right? And I think this did not work very well. So I think the other way it worked a lot better. Okay, who's calling? Okay, hold on, guys. Okay, guys, my son is calling, so I don't have ukulele which I'm supposed to go get, and I'm making a darn mess on the bottom of this, which is not good. I should have just kept this on the floor, but I didn't. So I'm going to go get some, I don't know, wipes, something to clean this up because it's a mess. But, um, yeah, just let it drip for a while, right? And then after that, um... Then if you need to uh, mimic it and clean it up and make sure that it's the texture that you want it, the color that you want it, then um, you should be okay. But you do need to make sure that that is done. And I need to clean this mess because I'm going to be like, what did you do now? Right? And we don't want that. Of course not. Um, if you guys watched my channel about my budgeting, right? You guys know. So yeah, we might get blessed again today um, because the lady that blessed us yesterday is going to come today. And so I need to text her and make sure that um, that is still the plan. And so I know what time to expect her because yesterday was kind of late and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm tired. And I think she said that um, those are not her normal hours. And so she stayed a little bit longer 
at her job and uh, she's at the Bay Area. So yeah, so hopefully it's not like that all the time because uh, Wednesdays we go to church and it's kind of tiring and then our kids have to go to school. So hopefully that's not the case all the time. But there we go, you guys. I think that looked really, really good. Again, just kind of go over it to um, clean up any messes that look kind of yucky. But other than that, I think it's looking pretty darn good. I think that looks really good. I just kind of like maybe have to, like I said, just clean up these sections here. There's still a little bit of drip, right? So I'm making sure it's not going in the shoes. And if it does, that means my kids need new shoes. That's not Because it's not in our budget, you guys. So I'm just kind of going over the spots that look like it's too blue, right? And again, I've done these with my... Um, uh, picture frames, right? I don't know my picture frames. So I kind of know how this happens, right? But I like it. I really do. And it's kind of on some areas, it's, it's bringing that, that creamy color that was there before if you do a lot of that. So make sure you know that the color that was under there might come back out if you're okay with that then you're okay with that but if you're not make sure that you don't spray so close to the furniture that you're doing because that's that's what it's doing and i i think i like it i think i like that it does it on on some some parts not all of them but in some areas sorry you guys it's my alarm to go pick up my kiddos well my son is in a ukulele class right and so that's why he called me right now oh don't forget my ukulele and now you have to sign something stating that if i break it because they're gonna let me borrow it but you're okay with that and i'm like I'm gonna bring it. But, you know, of course he said, I'm not gonna break it on purpose, Mom. Uh, you better not. When you do, you get spanked, right? Well, it'll come out of his budget, that's for sure. So if you see something too light, just go back in there and just kind of like put a little dab. Mm. I don't have a lot of more of the blue on my thing but see how i did those i don't want it to make it too noticeable that i put in there but look at that that's looking pretty cool so next time what i would do is what i would do different on this is i would totally start from the top that way the drips keep going to the bottom that's what i would have done differently but other than that i think it looks good i'm so glad that i did it and it's finished all right and let me show you really really quick if i can without making more of a mess than what i have here so you guys could kind of um, enjoy the look of this i'm trying not to make more of a mess because there's a big mess everywhere but i'm trying so hard um i'm gonna turn off that light there's a lot of drip going down still, so when I get back, I'm going to have to really um, mm. clean it, right? Because I don't want my husband to be all upset at me, because I do deserve to be like, hello, what's wrong with you? Right? I don't want to do all that, so we're going to have to just kind of pick up all this mess right now before my kids get here. But anyways, that's how it's looking. I like it so far. Um, I'm trying to take out the stuff on top so you guys can kind of see everything that I have. And I think I have to do another uh, uh, coat on the top. 
but I have paint all over. <laughs> it drips and everything. The struggle is really nice. Um, this is my paintbrush that I was using on some of the stuff. But other than that, we are good to go. Um, like I said, I want to show you guys. Oops, don't go down, don't go down, don't go down. It's trying to go down. I want it to go down. Okay. Um, let me see what I can show you guys, okay? Don't look at the floor because the floor is kind of yucky because I get all these. It's for my dog. He's. He shed so much, you guys. It's not even funny. Okay, so let me turn around really, really quick. I'm going to have to go. But see that look? This is just a side table that could go outside, right? And just I just made it look um, like old barn, right? But I did it all over. So now I just have to make sure that I um, seal it. I might have to just go ahead here and sand it a little bit more. This is a stool that I'm working on, okay? This is a table that I just finished. I'm not done with it because you can still see a little bit of pink right here because I'm not done. But look, it's kind of like the same thing that I did over there, right? But the legs are just going to be white. And But look, if you look at the bottom, they have the pink tips because I got to finish that up. Um... There's a little drawer. I got to finish this in here, make sure that this is all the way covered. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm going to do. But other than that, it's looking pretty, pretty good. So these water bottles I get at the 99 cent store or the Dollar Tree. But with no further ado, okay, let me take you away from all the messiness I have here. Um, again, I use uh, this kind of, um, what do you call it? sanding block you know to sand stuff down I'm sorry because it's kind of hard for me to do with just one hand but just kind of like you know just in the areas that you think that it's going to get you a lot of more wear and tear plus if you want it to look rusty and then make sure you seal it because if you don't seal it then all the paint's going to come off all right so just that's all you do. And these are a 99 cents for the Dollar Tree. Okay, guys. I really, really need to let you guys go. Okay, because my son is waiting for me and I don't want to be late to go pick him up. So remember the decisions you made today will not just affect you, but those that love you and surround you. So make good choices. Go on our uh, Facebook page, Jules Creations, to um, follow us there on uh, Instagram as well, Jules Creations. When if you share this video and when we hit uh, 25 subscribers, subscribers, which we are three subscribers away, we're going to give a giveaway. OK, so please, please stay tuned. And uh, yeah, let me know what other stuff you guys would like for me to bring to you. All right. The uh, Jules Christians loves you very, very much and make good choices. Bye.